Thank you. I stand here before you as the mayor of Albuquerque, but also, and I think first and foremost as a parent. And I don't stand here alone. Today, my wife and I, the First Lady of Albuquerque, wanted to come here together as parents because we are carrying the heartache and we are carrying the anger that every parent in our city, I think our country and around the world carries. We had the good fortune last night to kiss our two and four year old and hug them before they went to bed and before we drove down here. And we are heartbroken beyond words as we think of the families the parents, the kids, the babies, even younger than ours, who have been torn apart and forced to say indefinite goodbyes. So we are proud to stand with all of these mayors, and we are proud to stand with the heartbroken parents, families, all over this country and all over this world who have risen up to fight for change, to fight for reunification, and to begin the long process to fight for healing the trauma and the pain we have caused. We stand here with what's behind us to say that it is absolutely incomprehensible what is happening in our country right now on the border. And I know we tried, we told our four-year-old that we were coming down here. She saw some of this on TV. She sees the children in their cots with their silver emergency blankets. And she asked us to take them some of her stuffed animals, which is what we have here today. Um, she got that one for Christmas, I remember, just last year. And for us, how we did not have the heart to explain to her what is actually going on here. We didn't have the heart to tell her that it's not just stuffed animals, it's their parents. And how could, how can anyone explain this to a four-year-old, let alone explain this to ourselves? And that's because it's wrong. These are dark days in America, especially on the border. When we hear our leaders echo language that sounds eerily similar to Jim Crow, to internment camps, to the Holocaust, when we see our country take actions that literally betrays basic humanity, these are dark days. These are dark days when we have to even be here with you today, when mayors from all around the country have to stand here and tell our federal government what they're doing is wrong. But we are coming together, and we saw what happens when we do that. We are coming together across this country. We are coming together across cities, across states, and we are coming together across parties. And we know what happens when we do that. We start to see change. And even though it might only be in words only, we know that we actually can make a difference if we keep this up. And that's why together we have the power to stand up and say that indefinite internment is wrong under any situation and we will not stand for it in America. We have the power to stand up and say that these families have to be reunified. We have the power to stand up and say that we have to help these kids. We have to help them with the trauma that they've been through and we have to help them find their parents once again. And I believe that's why I am so proud of the mayors, of everyone in America, everyone who is sharing their voice, because we are starting just the beginning to make a difference. We are starting on a long road that might end several years from now, but it is going to be a road that makes this a country we believe in. Thank you.